Hey guys, it's Jocelyn here from Fantasia Elegance. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these very cute little acorn charms out of polymer clay. Um, and we'll also be going through how to bake those, how to paint them, and how to glaze them. It's actually really simple and uh, makes a cute little charm that's great for earrings, pendants, uh, bracelets, whatever you want to use them for. Um, they're just a fun little seasonal jewelry item that's also really great to give as gifts. So let's go ahead and get started. So of course you are going to need some clay to make these, and you can use any kind of oven baked clay you like. Um, I will be using Sculpey, um, but any opaque oven baked clay in the right colors will work just fine for you. And as far as colors go, you are going to want two shades of brown, um, a dark brown and a light brown. You don't have to worry about getting the exact colors right because we will be adding some paint over top of this. So just a nice dark brown, nice light brown, you'll be good to go. And we're going to start out with the uh, lighter brown. We're going to make the uh, base of the acorn first. And the amount you need kind of varies depending on how big of a charm you want to make. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. Um, for earring sized ones, I like kind of as much clay as you would get from, oh, maybe a chickpea. Um, or what else are those called? I forget. It's larger than a normal pea. Um, and you want to make sure that you get two fairly equal circles. So I'm just going to even those out. So I'm just about that much clay. Um, I can kind of measure the diameter here if that would help you. It's about a half inch sphere. Just if that helps you follow along, you want to make the exact same size that I'm doing. So you want to kind of work this up so that it's nice and warm and pliable. And then we're going to start shaping the acorn. It's very simple. You want it ever so slightly oval. And then you're going to start pinching one end of this. I'm just pinching it down between my thumb and first finger. kind of a rough little point shaped now. And at this point I'm going to tweak it with a little tool I have. You don't have to have this fancy um, silicone tool. You can just use a toothpick or a pen or whatever, pen cap, whatever you have on hand. But it's just a little easier than using my finger. Um, so I'm just going to kind of work on refining that point a little more. Um, if you do want to get any of these silicone tipped clay shaping tools, I'm sure they're available at most um, large craft stores or online. I believe I got this one at RioGrande.com. Um, it was ages ago, though. I don't know if they even still sell this same kind or not. But we're just making a little tip and kind of evening out so there aren't any harsh edges as it fades into the rest of the acorn. There we go, and I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to do the same thing on my other one since I'm making a pair of earrings. Uh, but then all you're going to do is set this guy on a little um, baking sheet you don't care about and uh, stick it in the oven for the time recommended on your package. And uh, it says on mine 15 minutes per 6 millimeters of thickness um, at 275 Fahrenheit. And what I'm actually going to do that would normally mean I would bake this for 30 minutes, but I'm only going to bake it for 15 minutes to start out with because we're going to be adding more clay on top of this and then baking it again. So I'm only going to do it for about half the recommended time um, just to harden it up enough that we can add more clay and work on top of this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will come back. Okay, so I have my little acorn bases and they are finished baking here. Well, half-baked. This is the only time you want to do a half-baked job on your... Uh, on your jewelry endeavors. But we're going to go ahead and add the little caps on now. So go ahead and pull out your dark brown clay. And we're going to need a uh, slightly smaller amount of this. So I'm going to get about a pea-sized ball now for this. And again, we're going to warm that up. Roll it out. Let me just eyeball this, make sure I have the right size that I want. I'm actually going to take off a little bit. I think that might be a little bit overkill there. And 
There we go. And this is super easy. You're just going to take your little ball of uh, darker brown and you're going to hold on to the bottom of your acorn. And we're just going to mush that ball right on top. Go ahead and press down on it. And then you're going to start shaping it, pushing it down around to form the cap of your acorn here. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and texture this cap so that it actually looks like a uh, real acorn cap. And to do that, very simply, I just took a 3x5 card, um, kind of, you want a stiff cardstock like material, and I just bent it in half. And we're going to use this little V-shaped corner here to make little indentations going around the cap of our acorn. So basically I'm going to hold it open um, to, I don't know, like 70 degrees or so. Um, just by putting one finger in there and then with this end I'm just going to start at the bottom and work my way around um, pressing it gently into the clay just to get little little triangular shapes just like that I'm going to work all the way around here And then once you finish that first row, we'll do a second row, kind of staggered, a little bit offset. And I'm tilting this so just the point is going in instead of like this, I'm kind of doing it like this. Right, so I've put that little pattern in all around. If I can get it to focus on the right thing. There we go. Very cute, definitely looking more like an acorn now. And all we have to do now before giving it the final bake, of course if you want to make earrings or whatever out of this, you're gonna need some way to attach it to something. So I'm going to sink a little um, metal ring into the top of this. So let me show you how to go ahead and make that. I'm just gonna set this to the side carefully. Um, I'm going to be using 21 gauge half hard silver filled wire from Rio Grande. Um, you could probably use 20 gauge dead soft as well. Just whatever you have on hand. It doesn't have to be fancy. And uh, I'm just going to kind of eyeball this basically. I'm going to get a flush end to start with. Pull out some round nose pliers. And I'm going to make a nice little loop here. Nothing too big. There we go. And I'm going to straighten out where it's coming out to make a um, straight eye pin, basically. Just like that. And then you're going to want to leave about just over one eighth of an inch of a base here that we're going to sink into our acorn. And I'm going to cut it at quite an angle so that it has kind of a um, sharp spike on it. There we go, just like that. I'm going to hold the top of that with my chain nose pliers. Pull out your little acorn top again. And we are just going to sink this right in the center top. Just sticking it right on in there. Make sure it's nice and secure. So now once this is baked, that'll be uh, baked into it and we'll have a nice little way to hang our acorn. So go ahead and give this its final bake. Um, for mine, you, you want to follow the directions on your package. I'm going to go ahead and give it another 15 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, since this cap is only about 6 millimeters and we already half baked this bottom portion. So go ahead and do that, and we'll come back and we will get these painted together.